Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today as we have a super awesome Christmas project. Now, if you like Christmas projects, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications that we're always notified of our latest and greatest. But today, guys, we have something special. We have a super cute mug gift set for the holidays. All right guys, so here we are in Silhouette Studio. And of course we have a really super easy sublimation project for you. And this part, the part in the software is even easier. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do is upload a PNG file to use for a mug wrap. And then we're just going to print it and sublimate it. So let's go ahead and we're gonna to go to file and merge. And in our downloads folder, we are going to locate the mug wrap that we want to use. There we go. So once it imports, we just need to go ahead and make sure it's the right size. I've measured our mug and 3.5 inches tall is a good size. So let's go ahead and come over to our page setup panel. Now, since we're just printing and we're not cutting anything today, our machine is none, our cutting mat is none, and we're gonna change our media size to letter. because so we're printing on a letter size today. And then we can just move it in from the outside. If you want, go ahead and turn on your print border. That way you know exactly where your print margins are. But um, you can go ahead and fill up the page if you want to print more than one mug. That works really well. And then, of course, you know, I always mirror the design here in my software. That's up to you because if you have it set up that your printer is going to go ahead and mirror for you automatically, you'll skip that step. Don't mirror twice because you end up with a design that is right facing and that doesn't work for sublimation. So let's go ahead and send this to our printer. I'm going to press it on our mug and then we're going to put it together just as a little, um, I'm going to call it a, like a gift basket, but it's really like a little gift mug set. Super cute. Now, don't forget if you're not familiar with sublimating on mugs, I'm using the Cricut Mug Press and we do have a cute and easy tutorial already available on our YouTube channel. So check it out, but let's go ahead and meet over in our workstation and finish up this project. All right, guys, so let's talk about what we have here. This of course is my blank sublimation mug. Um, this is not Cricut brand. It's just one that I bought from a sublimation vendor. This is my printed design, super cute, some butcher paper. The star of the show is gonna be our Cricut mug press right here. You know, it's one of my favorite things. I really love it, it's really easy. And then I have some little goodies that we are going to fill our mug with because that's what we're making is a mug that is going to be just a cute little gift. These are great for office gifts, neighbor gift, friend gift, or, you know, really just anything. Um, this is one of the favorite things I'm putting in there. It's my gingerbread money holder. You can find the video for that on our YouTube channel, but then just some general candy. And then I have this cute, now this is a plastic biodegradable bag. And what we're gonna do is fill it all in, put it in the bag and just tie it with a little bow. So what we're going to start off doing is wrapping this design around our tumbler. You want to get it straight if possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as straight as you can. And try to get it even on both sides. Now, obviously I trimmed the paper, so it's not perfectly even, but it is good enough for me. I'm going to take my heat safe tape, tape along one side and then the other. You do want to make sure it is flat to the surface. You want it to be tight, hold tight. So there we go. Super duper easy. So now I'm just going to wrap it in this little piece of butcher paper, which I hear isn't exactly necessary, but I'm always really paranoid about it. So I'm gonna slide it down here in my Cricut mug press. I'm just watching my handle and I'm going to go ahead and close it. There we go. So we're gonna let it do its thing. And then I'm going to show you just about stuffing it and wrapping it and putting on the finishing touches. So go ahead and remove your mug. Carefully remove the tape. Now keep in mind that I have fingernails, so I'm not having to touch any of this with my bare fingers. So you may want to use gloves, but this is our cute little design. I think it is absolutely adorable. Okay, so we have our cute mug. We're going to go ahead and let it cool, and then we will come back and finish up packing it up. Okay, so our mug is nice and cool. Still very happy with it. 
and I have my candies, my goodies, my little um, money card holder, which still really love. Did I mention this works well with gift cards too? Super duper awesome. I also have some crinkle paper that we're gonna use both in the bag and inside the mug. So I'm gonna get part of that out as mug filler. You don't need a lot. And then what I wanna do is I wanna turn it to where I can see the design and go ahead and kind of like, you know, just with a Easter basket or anything else that you might pack, go ahead and put the larger items in back. Put my cute little gingerbread man in there. And then pack the smaller items towards the front. Now you do want these to be kind of nice and secure because they have to hold up in the bag, but I mean, just a cute, cute little mug. So then I'm going to open up my bag a little bit more. And we're just talking about about a handful. Go ahead and put it inside the bag, but then spread it out in the middle. Okay. I actually want it to come up along the sides. Then we're going to take our cute little mug. And what I do is I just kind of work it down. Now, if you want, you can also put the mug in first before you put your goodies. But once it's seated, go ahead and give it a pull. And then you can tie it along the top. If something is too tall, this is actually a really great time to where you can put it farther down or you can put it in the back with it, okay? So like my little gingerbread man, I just seated him down in there a little better. Pull up at the top and that's what we're looking at. So super duper cute. And then of course I can reach in and rearrange or add some more crinkle paper if I want, if it's looking a little bare. There's also different colors of crinkle paper that you can use. I don't want to cover up the design. You can also, if you don't like tying them off at the top, you can also pinch them off and add just a little roll. Okay, that's also pretty cute. Lots of really cute options you have. So I'm gonna gather the top, scrunch it up, and then I just have a cute little red ribbon. So I hold and I tie one-handed. Now, you may have to get somebody to help you with this part. Um, tying one-handed is not the funnest thing to do, but it's not super hard. You can let go and then cinch it in. And I just tie a regular little bow. I make mine a little loopy, a little droopy, pull it tight. And then what you're left with at the end is this cute little gift bag with your mug, your little uh, mine's a money holder, little candies, whatever floats your boat. It is super cute, super easy, and makes a really awesome gift for the holidays. So guys, what did you think about our cute mug? I'm gonna call it a gift set. Maybe a gift set isn't correct, but it's definitely a cute little wrapped surprise gift. Great, really for anybody on your Christmas list. And actually really super expensive unless you add something you know, in there like, a really expensive gift card or something like that. But I really love these for office gifts and neighbor gifts, coworker gifts, things like that. So now, of course, if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. I love to hear from you guys. I love to help you any way I can. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crafty friend to help us keep growing the channel so that we can keep bringing you these really awesome videos. So I'm going to wrap it up, but I do appreciate you guys and we will see you again next time.